What is up, everybody? My name is Nathan Dashke, and welcome back to L.A. Nor Part 5. And on the last episode, we actually solved a murder and 100% completed a case. The longer the hot sheet gets. Which is pretty Pays crazy. Rent, though. Keeps Mrs. Phelps Unlocked the everything that you could possibly have done. Questions I'm not sure she'd agree with you. and clues. Passionate romantic type like you, Cole. Which is just very exciting. I don't believe the word of it. So we're going to check out another case of a stolen car. Seems to be uh, the only thing we're doing right now. Stolen cars. But I'm okay with that. We'll eventually reach a point where we no longer do stolen cars. And we advance up to the next type of case, which is vice, homicide, and arson. Arson. Open oh. your eyes. That wasn't my fault. Literally the person hit me. You're calling her the Dahlia now. Wonder what Veronica I mean, it kind of got in the one. way. What a case. You hear whether they're making any progress? Well, Captain Donnelly seems to think they have it all wrapped up. Brown and Green are sweating this manly character. I heard it'll be in front of a grand jury by next week. Poor thing. Terrible enough being murdered like that without having their death strewn all over the front pages. Oh, I knew I should have driven. I wouldn't feel safe in okay. a tank with you driving. I'm doing a bad job driving right Thanks now. Thanks for your trouble. Just a little, little distracted. All right, let's get to the report of the stolen car. Here we are. That's the car, Cole. Just pulling out of the drive. Get it. Oh shit. Remember, we Start need a healthy enough chase. to answer questions. All right, here we go. 47, Detective Phelps requesting immediate backup in pursuit so of I'm a stolen green Kaiser Fraser from 6 West 2nd Street. Maybe you can only get so far before he crashes or slows down, runs out of gas. Oh! Lay into his wheel arches. Come on! Oh wow, we did a lot of damage right there. All right, here we go. Here we go. Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy out. All right, all right. Maybe he's I'll out of here. Over the speed limit. He's out of here. Get on him, Phelps. I'll call out him. of the car now. Why did you run from us? I saw a big car in my rearview mirror with two tough guys bearing down on me. What would you do? What's your name? Cliff Harrison. You're under arrest. For what? What are you talking about? Nice try. I'm talking about the car being stolen. You're out of your mind. I bought the car, and I've got the paperwork to prove it. That would be like paperwork. We'll have some questions for the people at Coombs Automotive. Very interesting. Uh, the vehicle has been res reported as stolen, sir. Seems like a nice guy. You purchased this car from Coombs Automotive Company? Yeah, that's right. I trust him. And the ownership papers? From the same place. Everything seems to be checking out. This will need to be traced. Okay. And, uh, what's your motive for flight? You have a criminal record, Mr. Harrison? No, nothing like that. I'm gonna do bad cop. You better give us something, Cliff, or we're gonna make this hard on you. I didn't steal the car. I ran because, because I've got some wacky backy in the glove compartment. How much, Cliff? One reefer. 
We'll let it slide. You're in enough trouble. And uh, I'd like to ask about the vehicle purchase details. Who did you deal with at Coombs Automotive? The owner, Richard Coombs. Do I trust him? I'm just going to keep observing. I trust him. And he made out the bill of sale personally? Of course he did. He kept a facsimile for his records. Check with him. We're going to get to the bottom of this, Harrison. Until we do, you're going downtown. You gotta be kidding me! I'm getting arrested for buying a goddamn car? If everything is legit, Harrison, you'll be out soon. Until then, if I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut. Vegas possessions as evidence. And have him arraigned for Grand Theft Auto. Right, Detective. Do you know who my father is? We need to get to Coombs Auto and check out Harrison's story. I don't know who your father is, but I don't think we really care. You know what? All right, Coombs Auto. I think he's telling the truth. Some of the most convincing people you will ever listen to are born liars. Usually they're called politicians. I'm expecting we'll get a street crime call pretty soon. Always seems to be the case. Paperwork all looked above board. And out you seem like a clean cut kid. Uh huh. Well, I get it now. You see some kid who's basically you five years ago and assume he's got to be innocent. I'm more than happy to be proved wrong. Hey, if he'd been black or Hispanic, you'd be singing a different tune. You spout all this communist crap about treating everybody the same, but it only works one way. I'm not sure that's communism, Stefan. Oh, God, please. Not another history lesson from the man who single-handedly won the war. Are you finished? Yes. I feel much better now. We'll shake down the car dealer and take it from there. Unless his daddy plays golf with yours, of course. In which case, we'll give him a firm gentleman's handshake and be on our way. See? I knew you weren't finished. Any moment. Here it is. No? I mean, I'm assuming we're going to be pretty close to the place now. Alright, here we are. Coombs Auto Co. 3.41 p.m. That seems to be our man. Not another step. I have Hello, got a sir. Buick Century sedan that would be absolutely perfect for you. Detective Phelps, LAPD, are you the owner? That's right. Richard Coombs, at your service. You looking to trade in a black and white, boys? <laughs> Mr. Coombs, we're investigating an auto theft. A man by the name of Cliff Harrison claims he bought the car here. Well, uh, some people would say that my cars are a steal. That's a joke, son. Very amusing, Mr. Coombs. I remember Harrison. It was a green two-tone Kaiser Fraser, if I remember rightly. Do you have the bill of sale? It's in my office. Walk this way. That's a joke, too, son. Mr. Phelps, you mind if I shoot this guy? He's getting on my nerves. I thought he was about to run. I was like, not another chase sequence, man. We have too many of those. Hello. Here it is. Got the original pink slip there, too. All right, we'll take the pink one, examine that first. Gene Archer. Everything's checking West out. Avenue. All right, we got a whole bunch of names on here. Okay, I think that's good on that one. Let me check the white slip here. Harrison's purchase receipt was legit, at least. Okay. Not bad. We have a couple of questions. All right, fellas. Shoot. Can we have details of the transaction? Can you tell us how you came to buy the car? Girl just wandered in right off the street.
Do I trust him? I mean, seems to be telling the truth. Nothing unusual about the car. Not really my usual type of vehicle. The price was certainly right, though. Nice girl, but about as sharp as a bag of wet mice. Did you pay with check or cash? A check. She wanted it made out to cash, but I insisted. Man has to watch his cash flow. What name? I made it out to Gene Archer on the Bank of Arcadia. Okay, description of the suspect? Can you describe this Gene Archer? Brunette, maybe 25, 26. Little on the plump side, but not bone ugly. I think this is an honest man still telling the truth. What was your impression of her? Kind of harried and harassed. In a hurry to go somewhere, but no place to go. You get to know the type. All right, what's your association with Marquis? Do you know anything about the company that prints these pink slips? Nope. Should I? It isn't exactly my business. God, dude, he's a trustworthy guy. I'm going to use an intuition on this one. All right, good cop. It says Marquee Printing. You've never heard of them? Marquee. Sure. They do all the government red tape. You'll find the place down on Aliso Street near San Pedro. All right, check payment details. When exactly did you hand over the check, Mr. Combs? Close of play on Friday. Wait a minute. All right. Bill of sale. I'm in slip once a day. Uh, we're going to do bad cop. Why didn't you pay her cash? You knew the car was dirty. I had an inkling. When people are in a hurry for money, always pay by check, son. Gives you a couple days to back out. And what about the suspicious transaction? This was all above board. Yes, of course it was. He's lying. This motherfucker's lying. Did this look legitimate to you, Coombs? I'm in used cars, son, not bearer bonds. In my business, you don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Now don't come on all high and mighty with me if you want my help. Thanks for your help, Mr. Coombs. We need to continue the investigation. Hope you sort out your problem with Mr. Harrison. Go easy on him, son. Boy's about as sharp as a bowling ball. He's built too low. The fastballs fly over his head. Let me shoot this guy, please. You have a pleasant day, Mr. Coombs. All right, we got five out of five, so that didn't actually go too bad. Well, Harrison might be off the hook, but we can still run an APB on Gene Archer. Get on the horn and call it All in. All right, time to call on the cops. And get some info on some locations over here. Phelps, batch 1247. How could I help, detective? Requesting an APB on Gene Archer, age approximately 25, on suspicion of Grand Theft Auto. I'll relay the information. Are there any messages for me? A James Velasco is being held at Central Station on suspicion of GTA. Possible link to the Harrison case. They're waiting on you to conduct the interview. Thanks, ma'am. Okay, so we got two places we can go. It's just a matter of which one we're going to first. Alright, let's uh go down the list. Fremont Avenue. Okay. And we'll 100% get a street and egg crime for on the way. Do you think you have to be an asshole to sell cars? Or that selling cars turns you into an asshole? You've got it in for everyone today, haven't you? I've always got it in for car salesmen. Doesn't matter what they are. And why do they always think they're comedians when they're about as funny as a heart attack? Maybe the more annoying they are, the quicker you sign on the dotted line. Just to get the hell out of there. 
Oh wow, this place is actually closer, closer than expected. We are already here. Dane? Who are we gonna be speaking with? Here? North Fremont Avenue. Is it a house? Empty. Should have known that Archer Broad would have given us a false address. We should go to the station. See what this Belasco guy has to say. Okay. Let me uh activate the police station and see what this man has to say. So this case just got a lot deeper. He bought the car, and that person bought the car. But someone stole the car, so who stole the car? We don't know. That is to find out. I'm doing good driving this episode. It started out a bit bumpy, but uh, we recovered smoothly. Surprised we haven't got a street crime called in yet. Detectives, Belasco is prepped and ready in two. Another stolen car with legit paper. Thanks. All right. So he said room two. Rehab is for quitters. Interview room two. Oh, here we are. Hello. Call me bastard. Whoa. James that was Belasco. Mean. I want a lawyer. It's my car and I got the proof right here. Take a look for yourself. Someone is dishing out fake slips. The paper is real enough, Velasco, but the car isn't yours. This pink slip is a forgery. Uh, association with Archer. Does the name Jean Archer mean anything to you? Nope. Never heard of her. He's lying. You want my partner here to convince you that you do know her? I'm giving you the straight dope. I don't know no Jean Archer. Maybe I was wrong. He looked a little sus. Uh, maybe he's just nervous. Okay, uh, stolen auto carrier? Where were you taking the car, James? Blow it off, Greenhorn. You'll get nothing from me. He's got a smug look. I'm gonna use one intuition point here. Bad cop. All the way. Wait a minute. Coons for... Kaiser Fraser, legitimate pink slip made out to Cliff Harrison, bill of sale. I mean, we got to do bad cop. You're a two-time loser. If you don't give me something, I'm going to ask the DA for the maximum. You're looking at 10 years, Belasco. Kiss your youth goodbye. I, I want a deal. Keep talking and we'll see what sort of deal you're worth. My job is to drive the cars out of state. Nevada, Arizona, sometimes New Mexico. With the paperwork they provide, it's normally a breeze. Okay, so you're running an auto theft racket. What happens to the cars once they cross over the state lines? I don't know. I just deliver them. He knows. His eyes are moving. Give me something, Velasco. Or I'll take you back to the cells and tell the whole station you're a child molester. How long do you think you'll last? Okay, okay. I hear you. The cars get sold in Chicago or back east. Sometimes I bring back cars coming the other way. And uh, where are these stolen vehicles warehoused? Where do you pick up the cars, Belasco? Warehouses. Mainly in the east downtown. He's lying again, this bitch. An address, Velasco. You want my help with the DA? Cough it up, now. A place on Industrial Street. I don't know the number. You're gonna help me out, right? Keep talking, kid. We'll see what we can do. 
All right, James. We're going to check if this information is worth anything. And if it is, I need your help here, pal. If it is, then we'll know you're a man of your word. And so will the DA. You're Phelps, right? Yes, I am. Look, can we do this later? I'm in the middle of it. Ray Pinker. I'm with Technical Services. The pink slips are all real. Yes, we know that. There's only one company that prints them in California, the Marquee Printing Company. They've confirmed that the numbers are legitimate. You've checked them out? Sure. They're on Aliso Street, near the corner of San Pedro. The guy I spoke to was Lightfall. Gordon Lightfall. Here, I wrote it down. Thanks, Ray. This is a great lead. We'll get down there as soon as we can. All right, time to go speak with Gordon Lightfall. Yeah, I'm moving up to a 45. I want to put him down to one round. Phelps, your Let's GTA get suspect, here. Gene Archer, spotted by a patrolman. Western Union office, 253 South Hill. Less than a minute away down the street if you run. Go! She won't hang around. Oh, shit. Come on, get in. Right, gotta go, buddy. Maybe we're not doing any street crimes this episode. It wouldn't surprise me. We've already Come on! Jenna we don't want to lose her! Alright, where is she at? Down here somewhere. Is this our woman? Hello, Jean. LAPD. We'll take it from here. God damn it. Everyone's against me. Look, just let me get my money and get out of here, okay? You look sweet. How about giving a girl a break? I could be very nice. I'm afraid I can't do that, Miss Archer. Stefan, call for black and white. Just my luck to get the only hair sure cop in the LAPD. We're here about a stolen Kaiser Fraser. The car you sold to Coombs was stolen, Miss Archer. There won't be any money. I handed over all the right paperwork when I sold it, Buster. Oh, God. We got to review the notebook. Bill sale. Check. Fake address. Maybe we could get her with a fake address. You're lying, Jean. You want to prove that, Buster? Try and prove that pink slip is not real. Well, we have a fake address. Look, this is all just a big mistake. I don't want to talk anymore. Just let me go. What's your association with Belasco? How long have you and Belasco been delivering cars? Who is James Belasco? She knows. She definitely knows. Note from Ray Pinker. Message, pink slips, stolen. Okay, uh, we're going to have to get her about the bad cop. He's your boyfriend. He's the guy you boost cars with. He gave you up. He thinks you're so dumb you'd steal a free sample. So I'm no genius. I make the best with what I've got. Why are you so cruel? You decided to make this hard on yourself, Gene. Let's see how you handle the hard time. That seemed awfully quicker than usual. I don't think we're done yet, though. I got both of those questions wrong. That is my bad. Uh, Marquee Printing Company would be the best place to go from here. Okay, so we didn't do easy, Phelps. too I'd good to get there in one piece. with the last interview. I thought I had the interviewing down, but... Friendly girl, used Apparently to getting not. her own way. Little did she know her feminine charms were useless against the impenetrable Cole Phelps. She's not my type. And what is your type, Phelps? I'm married. I know that. But you're not blind or dead inside, are you? Wait, 
Scrap that second half of the question. Uh, I don't know. Blondes, I guess. Hallelujah! The man is human after all. Now we're getting somewhere. Yep, I'm with you on the blondes. Brunettes are fine too. And there's nothing wrong with a good redhead. <laughs> but I draw the line at gray. You know what? I might have to lift that embargo soon in the interest of maintaining a free market. A man with high standards. The standards are only as high as the last glass of whiskey. Man, these places are all in close proximity. I kind of vibe with it, though. Here we are. The morgue. We're looking for a Gordon Aletavel, I believe is his name. I like that they uh, show you the people before you go in. Hello, sir. And what can I do for you, gentlemen? I'm a traffic detective from Central Division. Who's in charge here? I am, Gordon Lightfall. What's this about? We understand that your company prints California vehicle titles. Yes, I have the government contract to print pink slips. I've done for some years. Have you had any goods or equipment stolen recently? We're running up against stolen cars with seemingly legitimate paperwork. Not recently. Have you ruled out forgery? There's no shortage of talented artists in this town. We'll keep it in mind. I think he's up to something. Are we supposed to be looking around? Okay. Uh... Guess we gotta question him. We have some questions for you, Mr. Lightball. Do you have any knowledge of the theft racket? Mr. Lightball, we're currently working two auto theft cases. Do you know anything about a car theft ring? Uh, certainly not. Why would I get mixed up in a thing like that? Uh-oh, buddy. We're going to use uh, intuition here. Bad cop. We have suspects with legitimate pink slips that were printed here, Lightfall. You better give me something before I bring the whole department down here. Don't be hysterical, detective. As a matter of fact, we had a similar problem a couple of years ago. A number of used car lots were selling blank documents to a criminal organization. Interesting. What about the pink slip supply, sir? Do the names Cliff Harrison and James Belasco mean anything to you? No, they do not. Cliff, James, and Belasco. Legitimate pink slip made out to Cliff. Okay, we're going to accuse him. You sure about that, Mr. Lightfall? You sure you've never heard of them? Are you making an accusation, young man? Do you have any kind of proof? Well, I actually have here. A legitimate pink slip made out to Cliff Harrison. My word is my bond. Character is in short supply these days. You could do with gaining a little. We're doing bad on this one. Uh, do you know Combs Auto Deliveries? Do you have a delivery ledger, Mr. Lightval? We would like to cross-check against the Combs Automotive Emporium. It's a little out of the ordinary, Detective. Uh, I'm not sure I can share those sorts of records. We gotta go bad, cop. He looks like he's about to cry. Hand it over, Lightball. You don't want us having bad thoughts about you, do you? Very well. But this really is irregular. Over here. Alright, let's go take a look. I don't think I did too well on that one. We did manage look for to patterns, get patterns, Recurring names, unusual addresses, anything out of the ordinary. Folk Publishing, Frank Shin, Stephen Burt. Okay. I'm not seeing anything yet.
dates Richardson. Hmm. Ah. <laughs> uh, we're just gonna tap them all because I don't know what I'm you looking for. Certainly encourage here. repeat business, Lightvolt. This Mr. Bigelow is a good customer. Interesting. Well, sorry to bother you, sir. We'll let you know if there are any developments. So I'm assuming we need to call in Mr. Bigelow. Oh, maybe there's no phone here, actually. Oh, my bad. Just come in to get in my car, man. Don't mind me. Fifty eight Industrial Street. Alright, we'll see if we can find it. It's a big warehouse. I don't see why we wouldn't be able to. Here we go, on a journey. Oh! Buddy, watch where you're going. All right, we're doing good. I'm starting to get the driving down. Less crashes than usual is all we could hope for. All right, make way, sirens on. Cut through this gap. Okay. And I think it's gonna be by this big cylinder building. Alright, here we are. Ah, landfill metal. I think we should call for a couple of black and whites. We can flesh her down here. I thought you Marines were gung ho, Cole. You have a 45, don't you ever want to use it? I'll take the back. Just give me a few seconds to get around there. Cole Phelps, LAPD. Oh God. All of you are coming downtown with me. Throw out the guns. Okay. Duck down. Covering oh wow, fire. that's a lot more than I thought. Okay. I think we got him. Buddy. I got you now, motherfucker. Take your head again. Why won't you go fucking down? All right, I'm a run. Pretty brave for a dead man. Oh god, dude, this is a crazy shootout. Come on, buddy. Step on it. There we go. Can I get some cover here for the love of God? How long do you think you can hold out? I need someone to cover my six right now. Got him. Where is he? Okay. Find some cover. Beat your head now, buddy. There we go. Stay in cover. Pile in, goddamn it. All right, I think we got him. 
Let's clear the top floor. I don't want to get drilled in the back on the way out. Oh, there's more? Get in cover! Okay. He's gonna peek eventually. Come on, one more peek, buddy. I'm gonna put holes in you, ass. Try the door at the end. I heard something. God, I don't like the sound of this. All right, all right. Don't shoot! Keep your hands up. Who are you, Bukowski. buddy? He doesn't move until I've tossed this place. Alright, it's time to get searching. What do we got here? Marky Printing Co. There are slips here to keep them stealing cars till Christmas. Interesting. And what do we have here? Marquee Printing Co. Golden. Marquee Printing Company. <laughs> There's nothing like going direct to the source. Damn. The man was involved. Wow. A betting slip. Looks like Mr. Lightfall has been on a losing streak. So he owes them. We've got a trail of pink slips and stolen cars that leads right to your door, Bigelow. You're in this up to your neck. But I don't think you're the man in charge. Make it easier on yourself. Give him up. I had to work on cars for customers. You charge in here shooting up the place like it's the Ballad of Bulge. I can't give you anything. What's with your pink slip supply, buddy? We know about Marky Printing. You can make this easier on yourself by giving us your man on the inside. I sometimes repair cars and put them back on the road. I need a pink slip to resell them. There's no problem there. Oh, God. Uh... We're gonna accuse him. Don't lie to me. I'm not in the mood for any more lies. The slips are the real deal. And I ordered them from Marquis. Do you now? Or does he owe you for his betting slips, huh? I want a mouthpiece. The organization employs a very good one. Does a great job of keeping Mickey C out on the streets. Whether you give up your bosses or not, Bigelow, you're going away for as long as I can put you there. We'll see. I didn't fire a shot, Kappa. I just watched you tear my place up. All right, well, we found out that Gordon was involved, so it's time to apprehend him. What's going on over here? Oh, wow. <laughs> that noise was so funny. Like, genuinely. Can I scoot in? There we go. Come on, get in, buddy. Do I get to, uh... Eventually do cases on my own? Or am I always gonna have a partner? I guess we won't know until the time comes. I think we'll always have a partner. What a mess. Ugh, gonna take some cleaning up, that's for sure. I wish it hadn't gone that way. Well, they shouldn't bring guns to work with them. We didn't have a lot of choice. You have to admire the barefaced cheek of someone who tries to blow your brains out one minute and pleads innocence the next. Yeah, especially when he's surrounded by evidence. You know, guys like Bigelow spend so much time convincing themselves that they're not doing anything wrong that they actually start to believe their own bullshit. They get sloppy. Bigelow, Lightball, all of them. If they hadn't, who knows how long they could have kept this racket going. Complacency or greed. It's always one of the two that brings them down. I got a gut feeling we're gonna have to chase Levitt down. He seems like a runner. In the face of danger. Panic sprinter. Panic track and field, kid. Alright, make way. I'm coming through. 
Is that the same truck twice in a row? Three times in a row? Lots of barrels. What you doing with all those barrels? Might have to get investigated. Just saying. Oh, he's not gonna like this, I can already tell. He's nervous. He's already geeking. I can see him geeking in his office. You're under arrest. You again? This harassment is starting to wear thin. Deliveries to Industrial Street. We found a box of pink slips in a warehouse full of hot cars. You signed for them, Lightball. I signed for all the orders and deliveries. You'll need something better than that, cowboy. Okay. Save it, Lightball. We already have all we need to send you down. I've had enough of this. You either produce some shred of proof, or I call my attorney. All right, what do we need here? Betting slips. You're in the hole with the organization. We know about the debts, Lightball. I agree, I have a small problem. I'm prepared to help you in any way I can, Detective. I'll name names. Uh, I need you to keep this out of the paper. I need- You need to shut up now, Lightball. Gordon Lightvall, I'm charging you with conspiracy and fraud. Hands behind your back. The LAPD Central Traffic Division has today smashed a nationwide auto theft ring, writes crime correspondent, blah, blah, blah. Oh, here it is. Traffic squad detectives confronted a large group of armed thugs. After an exchange of gunfire, more than a dozen dead criminals were removed from the scene. The LAPD sustained no casualties. Damn fine work, Phelps. Now get out there and nail some more bad guys, will you? I want to finish reading this. We honestly did pretty bad in that case. Like, we managed to pull it off, but... 15 out of 19, I'm close to about 14 out of 19. I mean, we didn't actually do as bad as I thought we would. Alright, next. On to the next one. My family runs a shipping business in San Francisco. We used to have two ships a week to Tokyo. We've been in shipping for two generations, Hank. I've never been on a voyage anywhere. I feel like Odysseus in the beginning of his journey. The Odyssey took ten years, Cole. This is the American century. America can rule the world after we win this war. We need to stay alive, Cole. These men are counting on us. Have you heard what the veterans are saying to each other? No. Golden Gate in 48. That's four more hard years of fighting. Phelps, Bukowski, you have a new case. Two women, possible drink drive. How was that a case? The broad says she was doped and that somebody tried to kill her. Where did this take place? That's the bitch you're gonna love. Right across the street. What? A Chevy Styline took a nosedive off the escarpment, fetched up underneath a Cola King billboard. Up to it, boys. We got bad guys to catch. All righty, everybody. See you later, fellas.
Well, that's going to be the end of part five. Look Hope you, you enjoyed. Hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out. I'm just trying to fit in.